so hey guys and welcome to my channel it's sy here and welcome to another exo zeros video so in today's video we have a lot to go through there is a notice about the upcoming update which is supposed to be in a couple of hours but here they say to be decided so it might be a little bit uh, late so just like the last time i believe but there's nothing about the app store this time so yeah we'll wait and see but the contents are the new season the new ep episode so chapter 11 and uh, yeah so this is Zeon this is the new awakened Zeon so Zeon fainted in the battle with Shufraken uh, Mahartek Zeon to Braun and the Braun is the new region that we're gonna get in chapter 11 and with it a whole new stuff will be coming to the game so just as you can see this is the new region you know with, with every uh, chapter you unlock uh, there is on the map there is new areas that you could get uh, access to so this is Braun and uh, as you can see here the icon those are the new heroes for the for the new region or the initial heroes there is still heroes to come but those are the three that can come with the upcoming update so as you can see here we have new daily quests or uh, and exploration and uh, the golem and ancient to totem you know those uh, those things uh, get updated when you open new areas and that's the same with bronze so yeah and there is expansion of account level the account level for now is level 55 and the cap will be higher now it will be 60 and uh, after completing those five levels normally you get zest but in this case you'll be getting national recruiting tickets which is going to be they're gonna talk about it um, in this update so bear with me new heroes there will be uh, as i said new heroes three uh, for the time being dorka uh, naomi and clock as you can see here those icons this is uh, dorka this is naomi and this is uh, clock so this is gonna be a machine but she's gonna be a general so if you know we have uh, five generals now and uh, the only uh, element that is missing um, a general is machine now we have Dorka after this update they're gonna be added to the recruitment so that's awesome and you're gonna want to go to the recruitment I yeah, you know they're not saying the premium recruitment or the banner exclusive uh, with the rate up but I believe you can get them from either so yeah here they talk a little about the heroes you, you can see here the artwork she looks amazing and her kit grace of mana grants one mana permanently to all allies so it's different a little bit different from the others because the others are uh, like row related you know like shoe freaking gives the front row mana uh, like battery uh, also rachel and jenai gives the back row mana here it doesn't specify a role so and it grants mana permanently to all allies so there's always gonna be one mana regardless of the uh, role or your formation so her attacks there is an aoe which gonna be uh, um, dealing bleed to all uh, the enemies and there is single target a decent single target it's not burst unfortunately so yeah I don't know how good is this but there is this uh, soul bond just like with Bathory and Garf and uh, Shoe Freaken they have those generals they have uh, different effects for this it's gonna grant allies with less attack so just like Bathory uh, soul bond mark and heals 30% of missing health every turn so every time every turn they <laughs> they recover 30% of health and it's gonna reduce magic damage taken taken by 30% so I believe this is and here it says every turn so this uh, this seems kind of broken but one shotting 
um, heroes is not that hard so 30% is not gonna save anyone but if you have a unit tanky enough this unit might might stay for a while on the field with uh, Dorka on your side so when it comes to the attack there is nothing special but of course the passive is always something to look for in this uh, generals so yeah Naomi Naomi is well she is obviously a tank because block just like Mahar and uh, Ulum and there is this uh, rigid body becomes immune to damage from share health if affected with soul bond so she needs Dorka and uh, here she uh, she's gonna increase maximum health and share health so just like Degas so share health and uh, increase uh, maximum health but there is increase own defense so she's gonna be like very very tanky and with this share health when uh, when you attack the other units other than Naomi share health will take damage to uh, Naomi instead of the units that you're attacking but in this rigid body becomes immune to damage from share health so you won't be doing that much damage so that's uh, kind of uh, interesting and uh, with this block block 3 she heals herself so she's gonna be extremely tanky and I believe that Degas only increases the maximum health not defense and it's 3 mana so it's not that uh, that high of a cost and the other one is single target uh, um, it's whatever you won't be needing this of course it's decent there's not a lot of um, damage and uh, as a tank they don't tend to to have high attack so it's whatever and we have clock the lunatic shaman of brawn already my favorite look at the this art it's awesome so let's look at his kit I don't think there's anything that's interesting about his kit so if affected with soul bond so he needs Dorka too and he will heal 100% of all damage from damage over time effect on all enemies and uh, with this special 3 or his ultimate he deals damage to all enemies and cause corrode so though this damage that uh, the enemies will be taking he will heal from them 100% from each one of them so and he is a front row of course there is nothing that verify this but this kind of passive all, um, always comes with a support unit which is gonna be a front row unit so yeah and uh, we have the highlight the fate core update so the period is after the update because they don't know when the update is gonna occur but I don't think it's gonna be that late just like last time it was like one two hours late until the September the 3rd so Valentina we've been waiting for Valentina for a long time now let's take a look first of all uh, her fate core doesn't change that much she gets a little bit more attack but nothing insane now her passive is what I found interesting because I couldn't find anything interesting flip flap and summer blessings just like the regular ones so it must be the skills and you are right it's the skills that changed so the changes to her kit is seems minor but it also significant in my opinion because this is um, almost the same as the original one except for this blind blind all enemies so blind will always make the enemies miss you will always be if I'm not mistaken I don't know um, was it like a 50% but I, I believe I saw that uh, when when the when the units are blinded they miss all the time so you dodge all the attacks and it's for seven turns and cannot be removed and all enemies so you actually uh, attack one target and you cause blind to all enemies so you only need one one enemy that is weak because this contempt need 
fear of the abyss fear of the abyss is caused by shufraken of course you already know this because shufraken is is always there in pvp nowadays after iris because iris uh, just uh, trashes the defense of the team especially if they have uh, a unit that uh, that gives uh, shields like uh, like the dragon warriors so whenever that happens when the enemies have uh, less defense than Shufraken, they will be affected with Fear of the Abyss and uh, deal damage under 10%. But with Valentina, she is going to inflict this contempt, which is gonna be a mana burn, 10 mana. So no mana for the ally, for the enemies, for the enemy. No mana burn mana burn all enemies so they're gonna be without mana and they will be blinded for seven turns all of them and the same goes for the last skill it was it was like uh, 200 and something percent and now it, it's uh, stronger with this fate core and uh, it caused uh, silence and the frostbite if I'm not mistaken but this time they removed all of this and it's just mana burn and a blind for seven turns and cannot be removed so i believe this is a huge because this this unit valentina she needs shufraken so it's not like iris iris doesn't need anyone but valentina needs uh, shufraken to be uh, to be a good unit so if you don't have shufraken i don't know if you should pull for valentina but I have, I have him, so I will go for her for sure. She's gonna synergize well with Shufraken and Iris because Iris, as I said, she, she destroys the defense of the of the enemies, and it will make it very easy for Shufraken to inflict Fear of the Abyss. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna see. We're gonna have to wait and see. But as it as it seems, it's gonna be. It's not gonna be a good unit without you Fracken, but I might be mistaken, so why not? Let's wait and see. So now we have this Awakened Hero. So they talked about this before the Awakened Hero is um, required for uh, the upcoming equipments, the ranked equipments. We're gonna talk about this, of course, in this notice too. So they say that you consume the defense the defense part of the of the armor are they, are they gonna have to be fate rate defense so defense is the the bottom row of the of the equipments so yeah and uh, according to the to the armor that you are sacrificing for this awakening you're gonna get this bonus effect and when the equipments are abolished uh, are, and above uh, uh, 60 levels you'll return the material and gold so everything you use to abolish those uh, these equipments you you'll get back those materials and gold and uh, some item uh, some of some of those uh, equipments might be special forged so this is how are they gonna compensate you if you if you are forced to sacrifice them for this awakening those are the the reimbursement in a way and uh, some equipments might be enhanced and uh, for this enhanced you need this ore of mana and you will be getting those back if you sacrifice those equipments so those are the new equipments the new ranked equipments you can uh, recognize them by this r1 and we might be get we might be getting uh, another rank 2 and rank 3 when uh, further episode come to the game so yeah and those are exclusive to those units that are already done this awakening if your unit is not awakened you cannot use those and of course there's uh, those uh, effects and there's this signature force where you require a hero from um, a certain nation to give buffs like this but the thing that I don't like about this by using each country's representative hero as material you can apply buffs 
this word I don't like it so as you can see here materials means that uh, something is going to be consumed in this case I see Do Dorka the new hero so here they say you have Dorka at or higher than one transcendence so hmm I don't like it if it's gonna consume the hero so you're gonna have to hoard heroes not only for transcendence but also for this for this uh, signature force so it's not clear if it's really gonna consume the hero or you just have to have this hero and then equip it like like equipment I don't know what I hope is not the same hero because they say that it's a hero from the country so I wish it's not the same hero every time because this is gonna be stupid if it's battery for example and every time you need to get battery to enhance the level it's gonna be a little bit uh, not free to play friendly and uh, the account buffs is going to be shown here so as you can see there's blue, blue fate core because they give uh, buffs to the nation to the heroes of uh, the, the nation the core memory gives also uh, buffs and this new signature force and the new Teria die station so you you're gonna be able to change the looks well not the looks the color of the outfit of your hero each hero's outfit and fate core has three parts you can die color for each uh, part will be chosen randomly randomly okay you cannot choose <laughs> okay and as you can see here you're gonna consume the die tickets if you remember we talked about this when you reach the level 60 of your account they're gonna give you 10 uh, summon tickets and those are the nation uh, the nation uh, summon ticket the recruit for brawn and it's gonna be rotated daily so it's not gonna stay at this region every day you're gonna get a new region and uh, as you can see here there is a button which is gonna be um, it's gonna help you to change the the nation but when you change the nation you will have to consume this so it's not it's not about these tickets anymore and uh, there is the nation uh, recruit mileage as you can see here you do 150 of those and you will get this so as you can see here you can get Gar, Freshel, Bathory, Shufraken, Jinai and Dorka and Dorka belongs here because she's the new general the new machine general so machine and uh, nature and uh, shadow uh, ice fire and uh, light what do we have here so there's the monthly season mission this is also good because it seems like uh, something that we get from doing stuff in the game uh, across a month and uh, there is no bait version as I can see I don't know so you will be getting this for free there's attendance so you just log into the game and you will get this I don't know how many times uh, use star of fate uh, which is uh, used in door to creation to to get uh, fated equipment use dragon and bio relics which is used to get the fated weapons and uh, fate core enhancement and the other things you do to get these rewards for free so good and there is the, the core memory we talked about this in, in the last update if it's not before the one before the last so yeah we, all, we already talked about this and uh, there is an update of course for the so solar uh, lunar uh, trade route which is where you get your equipment and there is the new difficulty lunatic uh, I'm not excited for this because I'm already a little bit struggling with this with those difficulties the special difficulty so you yeah, from this new difficulty you'll be getting uh, this rank 1 equipment and again you cannot uh, equip this to normal uh, units they have to be awakened and uh, you're gonna get only rare helmet and armors if you can see here there is a chance to get from rare to fated now there is a chance to get fated 
normally in the solar and lunar there is no way to get fitted equipment so it's it's good and you're gonna get star crystals star crystals are, are going to be um, used in door to creation to actually uh, pull for these rank 1 equipments not rare uh, from rare to fated but you're gonna need star crystals plus stars of fate so in the door to creation there's also as i said this new uh, craft book which is gonna be used to to get these rank 1 equipments from rare to fated as you can see but you're gonna need both the crystals the star crystals and the, the stars of fate here in the normal equipments you need only five uh, star of fate now you're gonna need both to get those rank one equipments and the exchange where you get uh, it's, it's the the shop so there is a chance to get fated armor and rank one equipments from the from this shop so that's good because normally it's only trash uh, I only buy the the enhancing materials not uh, not the equipments but now there is a chance to get fated armor so that's awesome and the hero battle we have Sharpay I already have her Yubi's uh, labyrinth <laughs> we have added some new gimmicks to September's <laughs> Yubi's labyrinth like the the already existing gimmicks are not enough I don't like this Yubi's labyrinth one bit some of the stages are just just stupid man i don't like it maybe uh, some new maybe they're gonna be more interesting more uh, plausible i don't know but the current situation of the ubers labyrinth there's uh, a couple of stages that are just annoying as hell so yeah and uh, we're gonna get this from exploring it's the same as the, the feather thingies um, and the other stuff you get them from exploring the region. So yeah, Exos Bass is gonna be restarted and uh, there is nothing here that indi indicates that there is anything new. And there is additional uh, heroes that gonna get the buff from Baraka, the Blue Fate Core. I'm really excited for the new chapter and the new uh, heroes. And I'm excited for Valentina because as I said I have uh, Shufraken so I think I could uh, take advantage of uh, her kit uh, more than someone who doesn't have Shufraken. So yeah I'm gonna summon for her for sure after the, after the maintenance ends. Until now we don't know when this is gonna happen but after it, uh, it finishes I'm gonna summon for Valentina and uh, I have enough this to summon her for sure so stay tuned for that. So if you enjoyed the video leave a like and uh, consider subscribing to my channel it would help me a lot and uh, see you in the next video bye bye.